one call with a gang. I'm like, I got the game on live. I'm in the spot, who am I, who do not? Don't waste my time, if you do, you get clocked. One kick from the kid, put his body on the rock. <laughs> Hey guys, Dylan here. Welcome back to another action figure review, and today we're reviewing the Marvel Legends What If Doctor Strange Supreme, or Supreme Doctor Strange, or either one. Now, I know what you're about to say. Dylan, I thought you weren't collecting any more What If action figures anymore. I'm not. But, sadly to say, before all my other figures decide to completely disintegrate on me, I pre-order this guy. And it came in today, well actually last night, but it doesn't matter. It came in today, and I got went to GameStop, picked it up, you know. And uh, I am safe to say that this action figure is pretty good. This Doctor Strange, this, this Doctor Strange Supreme is from a what if universe of what if Doctor Strange lost his heart instead of his hands. And what that by mean lose love interest instead of losing the feeling of his hands. Which is actually pretty sad. And just like Doctor Strange and his stubborn behind, he decides to try to go ahead and bring his wife, I mean, his love interest back over and over and over again. So many, to, in short, he pretty much just goes insane and destroys his own freaking universe. And he didn't even get to talk to his girl because she disappeared along with the universe, stuck in a metaphorical prison that, of his own creation. No, no. the description of this action figure is amazing um i really like it it looks real real nice now if we separate the figure from the cape it, it's it's nice look i mean look at the detail of this body like it's just it's just perfect you know like look at that face look at look at that face look at that face that face looks nice that face looks top tier right there like look at that that face looks amazing the rest of the body looks nice. I really like the paint they used on here. Um, they reused this part from Doctor Strange movie um, thing, which is not, that's not shocked by me. If you guys can see right here, the leg is actually bent. But hey, look, pin joints. I like the detail of this guy. It's really nice. Really nice. A closer look on his face here. You really see this guy's face. Like, look at the bones. You can see this man cheat. This man has not eaten. What have you been eating? You can really look at the bags. You see the bags under his eyes, man? He's tired. My man needs to go catch some Z's. And it's not like he's losing any time. Get it? Because he's freaking in his own pharaonical prison. Anyway, um, yeah. I really like the his face. His deep, like, look at that face. It looks like you've been thrown out from the movie, bro. It's perfect. I love it. I love it all. Like, this looks nice. Now, take the... Now, put the figure right there. We're going to look at the accessories real quick. Now, it comes with this hand right here. Now, if you're wondering what this is, this is the uh, effect for the Eye of Agamotto, a.k.a. the necklace he wears, the, the time stone. But in this version, I don't know why he didn't come with it, but I guess in this version, he can do it on his own. You see, in the, in the What If episode, he actually takes monsters and absorbs them in his body to get enough power to break a, like, a important a time point, I think is what this is called, the time point. And so, I guess he got so strong that he doesn't even, he doesn't even need the Eye of Agamotto anymore, he just uses his own powers which is i'll be honest with you it's pretty cool it's pretty cool i just wish dr strange became a good guy which he does become a good guy in the end you know he does um anyway next to his cape i don't know what they did but they need to continue this cape like look feel the, like this cape is so it feels so freaking good like, it feel like, because outside, you can feel the black plastic, you know? But inside, you feel this glossiness and this thing. And it's great. And the best part is, it's not falling off the... It's not getting off of my fingers. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you know that weird feeling where you have something on your thumbs? Like, you don't get that feeling off of it. It feels... It feels so... It feel, this is a cape! Note to self, by the way. He got this cape from a roach. Like, a literal bug. The articulation of the action figure. Ah, uh, pray to God this buddy don't break when I do this. Because freaking Black Panther did. And that pissed me off. Let's get started. First thing first, we're going to start with the head. And as you can see, the head can move pretty nicely. I like that new joint they have right there because it looks like... Yeah, I love that. That's good for stop motion. Um, You don't have an up and down crunch, but you do have a good rotation here for a swivel. The arms can move nice and normal. 
they got pinless joints on the arms, which I am I was worried about. But see, the thing about these joints is that they're nice and easy to move, which means I don't have to worry about them a lot. And it's the same thing on this arm. Whole arm here is is is, is soft. I, I love it. it. It's really good, right here, and it's really nice. Um, the feet. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can move that just like that and we can do this right here like that and we could do the same thing on this foot which is crooked probably because of the heat and you got good movement here and good movement here and all in all this is a good figure and here he is Dr. Strange with his accessories on and um yeah it's uh it's a good figure all in all because I, I like this. I like this figure, personally. Because, you know, it's real, it's Doctor Strange. You can't hate Doctor Strange. But the What If line itself, man, disappointed me. Because T'Challa broke. My Spider-Man that I got is near breakage. I can't touch it without worrying about it breaking. And freaking... The only figure that's actually been good in this What If line is this guy and the zombie Captain America. That's it. Those are the only two that are actually good. Which is sad. Because... I, I didn't really care for the zombie Captain America, yet it, it made me more happier than having the other figures because they were broke. Like, bruh. But anyway, this time something has come up and I won't be able to do anything until we get situated. So, until then, I will not be able to get any more action figures. I need to save my money for things like emergencies, mostly, and for other things as well. So... Yeah, thankfully I've stocked up on action figures and I, I got a lot of them. I can review um, some custom made action figures I have or I review some action figures I do have and just never show. Thankfully, um, I can do that. But that's pretty much it. I can't review any new action figures at this point in time. But yeah. But I do want to thank you guys for 100 subscribers. I will prepare the 100 subscriber special video. And I will show you what that game is, my God. But I, I just wanted to say thank you. So, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Like this video. Give me a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. And, uh, yeah, I'll, uh, see you later.